Hello and welcome back to the Wasteland, everybody. Welcome back to Fallout 4, where today we're going to be taking a look at the Combat Shotgun. This is one of two shotguns that's in the base game of Fallout 4, and this is by far the better of the two of them. It's really not even a competition between this and the Double Barrel. The only kind of downside is that you don't get this until the middle or the late game of Fallout 4, unless you want to rush to where you know they are, because there are two that are unique ones that always spawn in certain places. So the Combat Shotgun does 50 damage per shot. This is spread out over multiple pellets. This does a damage per second because it can fire at least kind of quick this has a range of 47 pretty short range but it's a shotgun so that's kind of understandable 23 accuracy also low accuracy because it's a shotgun which is sort of understandable the spread is still way too much for a shotgun in fallout 4 it's understandable for gameplay purposes i guess otherwise this shotgun would probably be the best kind of everything and this has a magazine of eight normally however you can increase that depending on what mods you want to put on here Costs 32 action points to wield in vats, and this weighs 11.1 .1 weight, so it is kind of hefty. That weight can actually go up quite a bit if you want to fully mod this thing out. For the pros of the combat shotgun, this one has really high damage and pretty high damage per second, as well as it has a high magazine capacity, or at least it has the ability to have a high magazine capacity. And the only real con to this one is that they are kind of rare. It's not super common to get combat shotguns in the early game of Fallout 4. In the mid and late game, it's not super difficult to find them, though. For perks to help out with the combat shotgun, you're going to want to go with either Rifleman or Commando. Commando, if you want to use this in full auto, which can be a pretty devastating option at close range, and Rifleman if you want to be using this as a semi-automatic shotgun. For an overall rating for the combat shotgun, this one's probably going to go up into high B tier. It is a very solid weapon that's quite strong at pretty much everything, and it only gets better with mods. So let's go over the mods for this. First up, we have a receiver, and I'd recommend either the advanced receiver or the powerful auto receiver, depending on whether you want this to be fully automatic or you want it to be semi-automatic. Advanced is going to give you the most amount of damage, but then it's semi-automatic, and then the powerful automatic is, well, the automatic version of this. For a barrel, I usually go with the long ported barrel for this one. Really, any of the barrels are fine, though. The short barrel is also good if you want to be using this at close range and you want to cut some of the weight down. I can understand that, too. For a stock, go with the recoil compensating stock. It's just the best of the stocks, unless, again, you want to keep this very small and then maybe keep the sawed-off stock. I don't really like the look of it, but... Luckily, you can't see it very well in first person, so that's kind of nice. For a magazine, this one's really going to depend on what you want. You should always switch it over to a quick eject magazine, where you have the standard magazine that holds 8, you have the extended magazine, which holds 12, and then you have the drum magazine, which holds 32. The drum magazine is kind of overkill on the semi-automatic versions of this shotgun. I don't really ever find a situation where I'm going to need 32 rounds before I need to reload with the semi-auto version. Full auto, you could make the argument that it's worth it. Usually I'll just go with the medium magazine here though, and that's fine for me, but at least switch it to one of the quick eject magazines so that way you get the faster reloads. For sights, pick whatever sight you would like. It's a shotgun, you can put a scope on this and technically you'll get the most damage from that, but I don't think it's a really good idea to do that since you can't load in different ammunitions into the shotgun. If you could load slugs into it, then that would be a different story. But generally, I just go with either glow sights or I go with a reflex sight on this, and that's fine. Or I just go with the standard post sight, because that's also good enough. And then for a muzzle attachment, I'll put a suppressor on here, because that'll get you the most damage if you want to go with Mr. Sandman as a perk. If you're not going with that, the compensator or the muzzle brake are a good option, too. The fully modded out combat shotgun is the best shotgun in the game, and it's a pretty solid weapon overall. The only thing that would make it better is if it has legendary effects which there are some legendary versions and you can get them without too much trouble. I got a mighty combat shotgun really early on into my last playthrough and it made the game super easy. So if you're looking for that, it's really good. I'd put the fully modded out combat shotgun high up into A tier. It's a very good weapon. Now let's go over the two unique versions that are guaranteed to spawn in the world and how good they are. First up is called Justice. So Justice you can just buy which is pretty strong. It does cost a decent amount. It's not like the Overseer's Guardian, which we talked about last time, where it basically costs nothing. So rushing this one isn't as good as that. This one usually does come with a full stock and a recoil compensating stock at that, which is pretty awesome, and has all pretty much the same standard stats as a regular combat shotgun. So nothing real crazy there, just will weigh a little bit more. The main thing that makes this one crazy though is that it comes with the staggering effect. And staggering makes it so every time that you hit an enemy, there's a chance that you stagger them to where they can't really do anything. And with a shotgun, I'm pretty sure this counts for every single pellet from the shotgun. So you stagger almost all the time with this. And if you want to turn this into a full auto gun and just hold down the trigger and move close to somebody, usually there's nothing they can do about that in a 1v1 situation and you just bully them into the corner until they're dead. It's very similar to like what you could do with the riot shotgun in Fallout New Vegas. It's not as devastating as that weapon, but 
it gets the same job done because you have an even larger magazine in this one. So yeah, Justice is really strong if you want to go about it like that. It's really, really good. Our second combat shotgun is Le Fus Terribles. 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 I hope I'm saying that right. My French is not good at all. Like, it doesn't exist whatsoever. So I hope I didn't mispronounce that horribly. Uh, this is the Terrible Shotgun. Similar to the Terrible Shotgun that was in Fallout 3. And this one is just stronger than a regular combat shotgun. It comes with pretty much all the same stats as a regular combat shotgun, with the exception that it also comes with the Violent effect on there, which Violent is the same as Mighty, just with a little bit more of a downside, or with a downside. Mighty doesn't have a downside. This gives you 25% more damage and 25% more limb damage towards enemies, but it does give you 50% more recoil than you would otherwise have. And that is pretty noticeable with this gun, even more so if you want to turn it full auto, it does bounce around quite a bit. Even in semi-auto, it jumps quite a bit between shots, so it's a little bit awkward there, but it's still really strong. It's just a straight upgrade to the regular combat shotgun, and you can actually rush this one early on. It's going to be kind of difficult to do that because the area where this one is, there is raiders, there's a lot of raiders, and at least one of them has a fat man, so you can die very easily from that. But assuming you can get through all that, you can just pick up the shotgun right away if you'd like. And the terrible shotgun is really good. I would just consider an upgrade over the regular combat shotgun, so I'd put this one up into S tier too. It's very strong. The combat shotgun is generally really good. It gets even better with some other mods that you can have on here. Like, the ones that are already on the unique versions are really good. Staggering and Violent are nice. Mighty would just be a better version of Violent in most situations. You still get the extra limb damage from Violent, so that's kind of nice. And if you were to get something like Instigating, it'd be really strong. As well as if you got Wounding, which Wounding on the Combat Shotgun makes it so the game is a cakewalk, even if you didn't put any investment into the shotgun whatsoever. You could spend your points wherever you'd like, and it would carry you no problem. So yeah, Combat Shotgun is really good. Tell me your thoughts on the Combat Shotgun down in the comments below and its unique variants. How do you enjoy it? Thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.